Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets finished up mixed yesterday. You had corn and wheat lower while beans finished the day higher, all lower to start the day so far this morning. You had day one of the Pro Farmer Crop Tour starting yesterday, and they made their way through Ohio and South Dakota. Um, just a quick snapshot. Ohio, the corn yield estimates and the bean pod counts were higher than they were last year. And in South Dakota, the corn yield expectations lower than it was last year, but the bean pod count uh, is higher than last year. So there's no yield estimates for the soybean crop right now. I don't think we start getting those until around mid-September. But um, that's just a quick snapshot. There's a, two legs of the tour, obviously, a western and an eastern. Obviously, Ohio is in the eastern. South Dakota is in the western, and they'll wake their way forward. And uh, they'll be on day two today. We'll let you know what they find uh, tomorrow as far as that goes. But again, Ohio, both corn yield estimates and bean pod counts higher than last year. South Dakota, corn yield estimate lower than last year, but the bean pod counts higher than last year. So that said, we got crop progress out yesterday, so let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to go through good to excellent ratings first. Corn good to excellent ratings came in at 72%, so 1% decrease from last year, or last week, not last year, excuse me. Uh, bean good to excellent ratings came in at 71%, that's a 1% increase. And then wheat came in at 68%, that's a 2% decrease from last year. Corn doughing came in at 70%, that's a 16% increase from last week. Beans blooming came in at 95%, 3% increase from last week. And then spring wheat harvested came in at 17%, 11% increase from last week. And you got corn dented came in at 22%, 11% increase from last week. And then bean setting pods came in at 83%, it's an 11% increase from last week. So weather outlook continues to look good. Most of the Midwest has good moist soil moisture levels. Uh, weather hasn't really been much of a problem for most areas throughout the whole summer. That's expected to continue throughout uh, as we wrap up the growing season here. So that's all I've got for today. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.